Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and this is question number 11 from the International GCSE, IGCSE, May, June 2020, um, paper 2 1, paper 2 variant 1 of the 0580 syllabus. This question here is about travel graphs. You have here a speed time graph. It says the diagram shows the speed time graph for 90 seconds of a journey. Calculate the total distance traveled during the 90 seconds. Now, the first thing you need to check is the units here. This is meters per second, and this is second, so we don't have a problem there. <clears throat> the answer is going to come out in meters um, directly. We don't have to do any messing around with the units. So we need to find the, the total distance traveled during these 90 seconds. Now, from a speed time graph, the distance is given by the area underneath the graph. So here we have this compound shape here, all right, it's like you can say it's like a trapezium and a rectangle. So you could either split it up into a trapezium here and, a, and like a rectangle there, or, or this way, both of them will give you the same answer. I just think I'm going to split it in this way. You could also split it up into further shapes, but I don't think that's really necessary. A lot of people are a bit uncomfortable with finding the area of trapeziums and so they will split the trapezium into a triangle and a rectangle and another rectangle i don't think that's really necessary once you know how to find the area of a trapezium it makes life a bit easier okay so what i would do is i would say let's call this area a and call this area b and area a is a trapezium and this trapezium has the um the area of a trapezium is the distance between the parallel sides which is called h which in this case is between 6 and 12, so this would be the h, okay, times, uh, over, divided by 2, times the sum of the parallel sides, which would be from this point to that point, which is from 30 to 90, that's, that's 60, and the other parallel side is between 0 and 90, which is 90. So it's h over 2 times a plus b, that's the area of a trapezium. And of course the area of rectangle is going to be the length times the width, so you can see that the length is 90 and the width here is going to be 6. So simply finding the area of those two, so the area of the part that we've called A is equal to the H which was um, 6, so it's 6 over 2 times 90 plus 60, 6 over 2 times 90 plus 60, and the area of B which is that rectangle underneath the area of B is going to be base basically just uh, your 90 times 6. So it's going to be 90 times 6. So this is going to be 3 times 150, okay, which is 450. That's 450 meters in, in that section. And 6 times 54, so that's going to be 540 meters for this. So you have 450 met <coughs> meters plus 540 meters, which gives you 990 meters. That's the total distance traveled, okay, by this object, 990 meters. Okay, so this is the total distance traveled in the in this journey. We could have also split it into this, this trapezium over here and this big rectangle. And in that case, the distance between the parallel sides would be 30. So you have 30 over 2, and the sum of the parallel sides would be 6 plus 12. And then you'd add to that the area of this rectangle, which would be from 30 to 60, 90, which is 60, times this height, which is 12. And that should give you the same area. So that's 15 times 6 plus 2 is 8. 18, sorry. 15 times 18 plus 60 times 12, which is 720. That's 12 times 6, right? So you have 15 times 18, which is going to be... 15 times 18, which gives you 270. So you have 270 plus 720, which also gives you 990 meters. So you could have done the same thing by splitting it this way into these two, a trapezium here and a rectangle there. And some people, as I said, don't like trapeziums, so they might even split this further, or they could have, some people might have done this, split it into like two rectangles and a um, a triangle and it will still work it's fine but you know I think it's good to get used to the 
area of a trapezium, so that's fine. So whichever way you choose to do it, as long as you end up with the right answer the right way, you're fine. Okay, so you could you could split it the way I did first, or the way I did second, or even make two rectangles and a triangle. And remember, the triangle is a half times base times height. So that will be a half times 30 times 12. And you add that to this, it will give you the same as the area that we got for the trapezium. <coughs> so there we have the answer to question number 11. Other questions which are related to um, this paper, <coughs> this particular paper, the other questions of this paper can be found on the playlist that should appear over here. The other questions about travel graphs in general in IGCSE will be found in this playlist that will be in this area here and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching see you soon